Begin by allowing your body to become comfortable. Find the position of your body that feels comfortable for you at this time. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Find a position of your body that feels comfortable for you right now. And notice the comfort that comes with that position of your body. Notice what it feels like to be comfortable. Perhaps to have your body supported, sinking into the ground. Notice what that comfort feels like and really enjoy it. Let it feel good to feel comfortable. And from this comfortable position of your body, Notice if there's any tension, perhaps in your jaws or your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your feet. If you notice muscular tension anywhere in your body at this time, see if you can gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen to let go. Invite your body to relax at this time. Settle into this comfortable or relaxed position of your body. And from here, if you'd like, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile. A light smile. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a simple, easy smile on your face. See if you can maintain this position of your body for the whole practice period, being comfortable and relaxed with a smile on your face. And if you become uncomfortable or tight, or your smile fades, just in making an adjustment, the adjustments that you and your body need to feel comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face.
This is the place that we want to do metta practice from. Comfortable, relaxed, with a gentle, easy smile on our face. So we want to stay here if we can and return to it if we need to. having prepared the body for metta practice in this way. Turn the mind towards gratitude. Consider one or more things in your life that you can feel grateful for. Anything at all, big or small, something very common for you or something very special to you right now. If you're not sure what to do, you could be grateful for this practice period or for the food that you ate today or the air that you're breathing right now. Or it could be a friend in your life or a special opportunity that's recently arisen. Anything at all that you feel grateful for. Consider that and reflect on gratitude for a moment. Consider one or more things that you're grateful for. If you can feel that gratitude in your body, there's a sense of warmth and appreciation in the body. Notice that and really enjoy it. That's the name of the game with metta practice. If anything that we do makes ourselves happier, if we can feel that happiness in the body, we want to notice it and really enjoy it even if it's small. So if this exercise does make you feel gratitude in your body, really feel it, really enjoy it. Continue to reflect on things that you're grateful for, for another moment. Very good. 
Now, bring to mind someone that's relatively easy for you to love. Could be a human being or an animal. Could be someone real in your life or even someone imaginary. Consider someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Visualize this person in your mind. And as you do that, notice if there's any response in the body. If simply by bringing this person to mind, you feel a surge of happiness or love or joy. If there is that felt sense of love in the body, notice that, attune to it, really savor it, soak it up. like the taste of a delicious meal that you really want to enjoy. Feel that love in your body as you see this easy to love person or animal in your mind. If there's no felt sense of love or happiness in the body as you bring this person to mind, no problem. You might find it useful to repeat phrases of love directed towards this person. You could say a phrase like, I love you, or I really care about you, or I want you to be so happy or any phrase or phrases that you like, really. It doesn't matter so much. Mental image and mental talk are both just tools for generating this love in the body. So feel free to do what works for you. Using image or talk or both. It's all good. The main thing is to cultivate this attitude of love and care for this easy to love person or animal. And again, if there is that felt sense of love or happiness or care. Really feel that. See if you can ride that wave, continuing to feel and notice that love in your body and even to grow it, to expand it, to spread it. you're consistently able to bring up that feeling of love, joy, or care in your body. That somatic sense of love can be a whole form of metta practice on its own. Just feeling that love, spreading that love, even without reference to a particular person. So if that's available to you, feel free to keep going in that direction. Feeling the love, spreading the love.
And notice out of the corner of your awareness, at this time, what seems to be working for you to generate the sense of love? Maybe it's images using your imagination. Maybe it's phrases, mental talk that you hear in your mind. Maybe it's the embodied felt sense of love. Just the heart, just the body. If you're not sure, you can always try a different approach using phrases instead of talk, images or images instead of talk. or something else that you like to try. And notice what seems to be working for you. See if you can bring that strategy or a new strategy to the next part of the practice period. For the remainder of the practice period, we're going to be directing love towards various animals. I'm just going to say a series of animals, different kinds of animals, and see if you can use what's working for you to cultivate love towards these animals, our friends. Of course, if you'd like, you can always stay with just one animal or even your easy to love person or animal or try something else differently entirely. But you're of course welcome to practice loving animals at this time. To begin, consider and cultivate an attitude of love for dogs. You might remember a dog that you have as a pet or that you had at a pet as a pet at a previous time. Or you might bring to mind different kinds of dogs, seeing them in your mind. Or you might simply say a phrase like, I love dogs. May dogs be happy. Or any phrase that you like, really. In any case, cultivate an attitude of love for dogs.
you'd like, feel free to stay with dogs. Or if you'd like, you can cultivate an attitude of love for cats. Thinking about real cats that you've known or just imagining different cats, different species of cats, kinds of cats, and wishing that they would be happy. Our sweet friends, cats. And every minute or so, I'll say a different kind of animal. If you'd like, feel free to cultivate love for that kind of animal or to cultivate love for any animal that you like. Lions. Birds. Turtles. Penguins.
koalas. Elephants. Cows. Chickens. Pigs. Horses. Giraffes. Polar bears. Zebras. See if you can. Extend this love to all animals, to all of our animal friends. Very good. Now take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Were there any challenges or new insights? Take a moment to reflect. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 